Spielman didn't do that. Spielman dealt with it. Carlson's no longer our problem, and now we've got this Bailey kid. The most accurate kicker in NFL, second most accurate kicker in NFL history. But but so. but is that too harsh? I mean, I I don't. It would have been a. Tr- you can't come back with him with Carlson at this at that point. You can't. In the NFL, there's it's not too harsh, and when you're a Super Bowl contender, it's not too harsh. Like you, you owe it to the rest of the roster to to make that move. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. and and yeah, Carlson was at the uh, he was at the point of no return because he could have gone ten for ten against Buffalo next week, and it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, there would, I mean, there would still be question marks of you know every time he lines up for a big kick. If you're a Minnesota kicker, you can't miss in the playoffs anymore because that yep. will forever be held against you. And you can't miss against Green Bay because it'll be held forever against you. He yep, does that against sure. Buffalo. He probably is still on the team. But he does it against Green Bay with the game on his foot. It's just, you're sorry, bud. Like, I'm glad you owned it after the game. You stood there for two minutes in front of the reporters and, you know, owned it. I, it's, it's just the fortunate that you're i'm sure you're a good kid but yeah no i aim to do that i i I admire his character in owning it Uh, yeah it's admirable and i respect that a lot i just i i just don't want him on my he just doesn't no you're done you you shouldn't be able to be on my team anymore i'm sorry or any team for that matter like that's that's just the way it works and uh, you know or or it should work anyway And, and and I'm sorry, Nick, but the, the the very second he was forthcoming about the last kick and he said, yeah, that might have been a little bit of a confidence issue there. Oop, sorry. Yeah, now you're done. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, it's, you know, I got I was a little ways down Highway 29 headed west <laughs> yesterday and I could have swore I passed uh, a couple guys on the side of the road with what do you call those things with the sticks with the little the bag hobo, on the little, end of them? Ho- little hobo things. <laughs> yeah, whatever those things are called. So I'm not sure they let uh, Carlson or Laquan can't catch well uh, uh, on the flight oh back home. Oh, my God. Laquan. They can't cut him either. They can't cut Treadwell. They'll put him over the cap, cutting him, puts him over the cap. Oh, God. Well, well, they, 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 signed, they signed this other guy today, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, they signed another wide receiver, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens because – that wide receiver actually took Carlson's roster spot because they're still waiting on the medicals and the physicals and everything for Bailey to go through. So yeah. Bailey is not officially signed, but they will have to make a roster move when he is. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. And um, when was, has, has there ever been a full season in NFL history where a wide receiver led the league in passes defended? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I read somewhere he's got 18 drops in his career and like 25 catches. Oh my god! I, I I forget where I I forget where I saw it, but I saw a great line today somewhere in regards to Treadwell, and it's if they think you can't run precise routes, there's still hope. Once they find out you can't catch, it's all over. You're done. You're done. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, uh, I, I you give a lot. You give first place. Cousins, I thought, was excellent yesterday. I mean, excellent. Huh. He's awesome. And, I, you know, yeah. I got no beef with anything that he did or didn't do, whatever. But the only black mark on his on his stat line yesterday was because of Treadwell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, it was, tr- you, you know, I mean, uh, through, it, it hit it both of his hands. Hit and it both. should have been the game. It hit them both. Right, Exactly. I just, it's just, and then he kept going. He went back to him a couple of times. Why are we throwing it to Treadwell? Because apparently he believes in him. Well, that's great. Uh, so I, I don't know. Maybe Cousins is Jesus Christ. He's just, he just believes everybody is, is utterly <laughs> forever redeemable, right? He does I, seem I, like I, just an amazing human that would just keep going back to you and always have. It's all right, man. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get him next time, buddy. We'll get him next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we won't. Not with Treadwell. We won't. We, we, will, no. we will get picked off next time. What a joke that guy is. I mean, and I can't believe for one split second in the first quarter, I thought, oh, my God, this guy might figure it out. Yeah, well, he just it, ripped yeah. it all away and three hours <laughs> later and said, oh, there's no chance I'm figuring this out. Like, 
Here I'm you go, Aha, Clinton Dix. Here's the ball, and here's the game. But yeah, it's too but, bad he scored in the first half. Otherwise, maybe he'd have gone Vontae Davis on the bit and just shut her down at halftime. <laughs> 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 oh man, I was yeah that the uh, the uh, Buffalo Bills have been notified. In other news, the Buffalo Bills have been notified that they have been removed from the shit show benchmark index for being unreasonably unfair to other shit shows and skewing the index down. And uh, by the way, the the last the last NFL team to be removed from the index was the Cleveland Browns, but that was years ago. Uh, uh, guy walks out at halftime, hangs him, lays his shoes, just leaves. Guy just leaves. He what? said, "F." He said, "F this." Too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like we have it rough in Minnesota, but we've never had a player retire at halftime. Like, just quit. Just quit. The only guy that's ever quit in Minnesota in the middle of a season that I know of is West Walls. Right? I mean, that wasn't the middle of a game. That was whatever, no. 12, 12 games into a season or whatever, but it wasn't in the middle of, like, it wasn't like the second intermission that Walls left. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it's absolutely unbelievable. He just said, forget it, I'm taking my shit off, and I'm going home. Well, what I'm do you think security was saying, like, as he's walking by, I'm like, um, <laughs> I think the game's still going on, but, like, bro, there had to have been guys on the roster who didn't know what happened. Can oh, you imagine sure. if you're dressing next to him and he's getting dressed, taking a shower, <laughs> and it's halftime, and you're sitting there getting the rah rah speech from coach, and <laughs> this guy next to you is throwing his suit on? I mean, you've got to think, you got to worry that it's a trap game for the Vikings, but oh my God, it could also be like a 62 to 7 spanking. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how it could be a trap game. Like they're that bad. I'm not even sure they could trap somebody. <laughs> but uh, yeah, at least Hugh Jackson has Cleveland playing hard. Yeah, uh, and they're gonna throw Josh Allen to the Wolves. Yeah, like here, here, nobody wants to play for this franchise. It's your first start. Go play against the best defense in the yeah. NFL from last year. Go try to throw at Rhodes for four quarters. Yeah, with the best front seven barreling down ever, on you all the game ever in history yeah meanwhile uh ryan fitzpatrick awesome <laughs> yeah. right high rod taylor pretty good like you know i mean they are if you're getting cut by the bills at quarterback or whatever probably means your career is about to start going pretty well so did you hear what did you see his interview fitzpatrick's interview yesterday no Oh dear God! You have to go find this. Like he he dressed like Conor McGregor <laughs> to his post. He wore Deshaun's Jackson's clothes to the post season to the post game interview. Like the media was in stitches, and they asked whose clothes are they. He's like, oh, it's D Jack's clothes. And like, well, is any of this that you're wearing yours? He goes, yeah, the chest hair is mine because <laughs> his chest hair is like flowing out of this, and he's got Jackson's like gold chain hanging around his neck, oh. and and the full beard going and everything. You have to go watch this. That is awesome. Yes, the chest hair is mine. He says. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh! All right, so I feel I feel marginally better having gotten some of this off my chest. Speaking of which, um. <laughs> I don't like I don't like not coming away with the victory, given that we had the game on our foot. Uh, I hope they've dealt with the problem and and we get a kicker in here. By the way, did, for for however long Kai Forbath was maybe in consideration by the Vikings, nobody in the planet had more leverage than him during that period, right? Given yeah. what, given how we rode him out of here on a rail, if they'd have called him and said, "Hey, you want to come in for a workout?" I'd have been like, if I was him, I'd been like. Uh, here's what it's going to take to get me to come work out in Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> right? No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> oh. Handwritten apology from Rick Spielman. Yeah, well. For, for apology, starters. Yeah, exactly. And and maybe li- actually kiss my white ass. Like, <laughs> actually <laughs> plant your lips on my backside and make a smooching sound, and then I'll consider it. Right on Nicola uh, Mall. Right, exactly. Yeah, right by the Mary Tyler Moore statue, you jackass. <laughs> that's what it would have taken to get me as Kai Forbath to come work out for the Vikings this week. Yeah. Maybe that's why Good we did stuff. it all. Um, all right, let's head over to some Minnesota goodbyes. Uh, this has been a fun and uh, therapeutic type of show. 
as I hope they always are. Uh, we're going to start with you, Lonnie. Go for it. Uh, I got nothing. I'm exhausted. A lot of driving, not much sleep. <laughs> There's my Minnesota goodbye. All right. I'll drink to that. Uh, Tony, what do you got? I got a Minnesota goodbye to the 25 bucks in Ryan Shaver's pocket for the <laughs> lunch he's going to pay. Lunch and bowling that he's going to buy me when the golfers win the Big Ten West in the next five years. I'm excited. <laughs> Spend it. Yep. Outstanding. Outstanding. Nothing, nothing better than a free lunch. And some bowling on top of that. Let's not forget. That's my right. good, my goodbye is to is to cancer's chances with my cousin's husband Keith, who has uh, been admitted to the hospital this, uh, this evening to start a battle with with said cancer. Oh. Keith is uh, a, a fine, upstanding young man, a good citizen, a great husband, and a wonderful father to his four to his two children, ages four and under. Uh, we wish him all the best. He's going to kill this thing. And uh, and it's not going to know what hit him. So uh, my goodbye is to cancer on behalf of Keith. Good luck, Keith. We're thinking about you. We love you, buddy. And all the best to you and your family. Uh, so, uh, but I don't want to end on that note because it uh, it's a not somber, somber note. So I will also say goodbye to uh, boring uh, 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 accoutrement in, ho- in hotels. I was in <laughs> Reno, Nevada last week. Stayed at the Renaissance Reno downtown. And in the hotel, they have a huge space, which is leased by a bocce ball hall. It's an indoor bocce ball hall. They've got seven regulation-length bocce ball courts, the the surface of which is basically indoor track surface, so not sand. Um, Mm -hmm. And so it's pretty fast. And uh, it also has... Uh, you know, like that tabletop shuffleboard. It's got ping pong. It's got darts. It's got uh, some other games. It's got a huge bar. You can order food. It is the coolest thing. We were in there for a night. It was absolutely awesome. And so, you know, you can keep your boring lounge with the cut pieces of cheese and the <laughs> stale crackers and, you know, the little the little nasty chair that's been sat in by a million greasy people that you never want to touch and all this stuff. All these other... All these other things that come in hotels, that's all crap. And I will have a bocce ball hall in my hotel every single time because it was awesome. So hats off to the Reno uh, Renaissance downtown and goodbye to boring hotel lobby area places. That's awesome. It was pretty cool, guys. And and we were in Reno, and that's kind of a fun. Reno's got a little bit of the Twin Peaks feel to it. It it, it it's it you know it, it's very thinly disguised weirdness and and creepiness and seediness. It's a it's a funky <laughs> little town. All right. So for Brandon and Lonnie and uh, and Tony, this has been Nick. This is Nick. Thanks for listening to this and all the episodes of the Fan Show, which you can reach, of course, at talknorth.com. Thanks for listening. We'll be back with you again soon. You just want to provide the best service you can, and you know marketing is vital to build your business, but it's also overwhelming and confusing. Successful Marketing Group is passionately committed to businesses, helping them get found, get customers, and build dreams. Successful Marketing Group understands your problems and truly wants to help you be successful, providing digital marketing packages with proven results. Go to SuccessfulMarketingGroup.com slash Cheryl Reeve for a free 45-minute audit and action plan. That's SuccessfulMarketingGroup.com slash Cheryl Reeve.